I want to turn now, Mr Speaker, to the issue of debt forgiveness. It's a very important package that Todd McClay will be running. And this is a very simple story, I think, Mr Speaker, because the responsibility of liable parents is to make child support payments. That is the responsibility, Mr Speaker, of liable parents. They have a legal obligation to pay for their kids and they have a moral obligation to pay for their kids. And they should be doing it. But sadly, too many people are not and it needs to change. Why? Well, because for a start off, we need to breathe the hope into those 120,000 families and, and, and individuals who see a hopeless position. Because this is the situation, Mr Speaker. They owe $3.2 billion. Only $700 million of that is principal. The other $2.5 billion is interest and penalties. And what's more, of that $3.2 billion, 800 million is owed by people who live in Australia and 800 million is owed by people who live outside of New Zealand and outside of Australia. And we are a very pragmatic government. What we're saying to those people, those 120,000, is come back, start making the principal payments to those low income families you owe it to, and we will forgive the interest, we will forgive the penalties. $1.7 billion over four years, more money for those low income income families and a chance for those 120,000 to probably even be able to come back to New Zealand one day for themselves. That's what pragmatic government looks like in action, Mr Speaker. Well, Mr Speaker, let me finish with this. On election night, uh, as I had in the past, I got up and I said to New Zealanders, I intend to govern for all New Zealanders. And I also said that night, that I will focus on the children who are most in need. I acknowledge that through no fault of their own, they were growing up in some of the most deprived conditions in New Zealand. I believe in the last six and a half years, we've stood by those families. In the toughest of times, we've protected them as best we could. Mr Speaker, I know my history. I know the struggle my mother had. I know how tough it is for those low-income families. Today is the day where we've been in a position to stand up and just give them a little more. Rightfully so, we've done it in this budget. Rightfully so, because Bill English's economic leadership has allowed us to do it and afford it, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, this is a great budget for New Zealand. I'm proud to have Bill English as Minister of Finance of this country. May there be many more budgets to come. Yeah.